folks, this is actually Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. I thought he was going to be back today. I said that on Friday. Uh, so I'm with you today, and I'll be with you again tomorrow as well. Well, let's take a look and see what we have going on right now. I hope you all had a good weekend. I know today uh, not too much is going on, uh, but let's just take a look. So we have the E-mini right now, about sideways, off about 0.04%. Uh, we have the Russell up about 0.37%, NQs 0.17%, the Dow futures still right under that $40,000 uh, mark there, the gold contract down today 1.35% at 2342 silver at 2845 and copper is raging today up 2.16%, trading at 476 on that contract, and on decent volume as well, at least uh, on May 10th to that upside. Uh, crude oil creeping right now to 79.16. Tesla is up today. Okay, so let's look at this a little bit, up about 2.3% as it is now at 172. Uh, I spoke on Friday how Elon had made a Twitter post or an X post, uh, <laughs> essentially saying that they're reeling back his initial kind of stance or the newer stance of getting rid of their, their hypercharger unit, or at least, you know, just keeping it bare, right? Then he said on Twitter, he's like, no, 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 we're gonna dump more money into this, so don't you worry, we're just cutting down the amount of people. And uh, today, it turns out that he's completely reeling that back, and they brought back the executive as well of that, um, of that section. It's, uh, <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> It is a strange thing with this stock and really with Elon in general. Uh, let's see, Musk said it's still planned to grow the supercharger network just at a slower pace for new locations. And that the company would additionally focus on 100% uptime and expansion of existing locations. Yeah, he said this Friday, this is the quote from his Twitter page. Uh, just to reiterate, Tesla will spend well over 500 million expanding our supercharger network to create thousands of new chargers this year. That's just on new sites and expansions, not counting operations costs, which is much higher. And they brought back the guy today. Anyways, it, you know, I mean, what can you say, right? This is what's so sketchy about investing in Tesla is one, you know, Musk says what he wants and to you know, some extent, I guess, in a world that sees consistent, like, self-censorship, that is nice. But you also got to keep in mind, this isn't just, like, some random celebrity. This is a dude running a massive business, one that is uh, public. And so you get these kind of weird moves uh, surrounding it based on, you know, maybe he's just chilling by himself at home and he sends off a tweet. And it greatly affects the stock price. And so, you know, that, that in and of itself can be a massive issue. Uh, additionally, some numbers came out as well for uh, April Chinese EV sales. Now, this is one of the places that Tesla sells their vehicles, and they were dominating the market for quite a while. Uh, that is, has actually contracted quite a bit, uh, which is pretty negative for Tesla. BYD, we've been speaking about them a little bit. Uh, they are the dominant EV automaker in China currently. Um, they blew up this year. Um, and, you know, it, it kind of resulted in Elon Musk saying, if we don't do something about China, they're going to flood cheap cars throughout the rest of the world. I mean, we're seeing one. I'll, I'll get the story uh, for you here, but it's like a $12,000 car. This isn't BYD. It's another brand, but it just kind of goes to show this is what's happening. And, and again, like this was to kind of be anticipated, right? I mean, even this happened, you know, decades ago, moving jobs overseas. But it's like, of course, China was going to become a dominant force. And it's not like we, I feel like our country really did anything to develop relationships in a major way over all this time. And now we're getting to a point where we're going to levy a 100% tariff on Chinese EVs. And there's no doubt that China is going to do something retaliatory as well. And we're in an unstable inflation environment. Anyways, I'm kind of going on a you know, side note there. But regardless, let's take a look at BYD quickly. The sales of the retail passenger and EVs totaled 254,000 units in April. Uh, it's up 30% year on year, which is insane. And now Tesla's contracted 21.4%. Uh, so 
they had 674,000 units sold in China in general. Tesla only made up 31,000. That's in April. 674,000 in April, and China or Tesla only sold 31,000. So they're contracting quite a bit, and this is a big deal. Uh, folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back.